name is Rumbi Taife Matanga and I'm with Viva Network Zimbabwe. Uh, today we would like to focus on balance of network development and program. With a network that runs programs with children and supports its member churches and organizations, there can be a tendency to prioritize the programs with children, especially if funders are funding those programs and requesting detailed reporting which can be time consuming. Yet for the network to continue to generate impact across the city, it must continue to engage its members and spend time engaging and growing the network. This is a balancing act that falls to the network coordination team. The Viva Network Health Check is a self-assessment tool that helps networks to assess and evaluate the network from two different perspectives. The first perspective is the general capacity of the network. This is the network's capacity to deliver the collaborations and services required of it. The second perspective is to look through the lens of network programs. Using this tool, you can see the strength of your network platform and also the range of programs you're running. You can then consider where you may need extra attention to keep a healthy balance between network development and programs. Ensuring that each program is linked to an action or working group can help to keep a good balance and ensure that network members are collaborating to plan and run programs. As programs grow and require more funding, there is greater accountability needed. It is important that the capacity of the network is built to cope with growth in reporting requirements and to deliver the program effectively. This may involve the recruitment of competent staff managed by the network coordination team to manage and monitor the delivery of the collaborative program, but this staff must continue to work with and engage network members to ensure the program remains collaborative and that impacts can last beyond the program. As success is communicated, network membership is likely to increase. The network needs to develop to accommodate larger or additional action groups and ensure good member care. It follows that regular member meetings and prayer are increasingly important to ensure good member care and success, a successful collaborative programs. Network platform and the viability and sustainability benchmark includes Benchmark Criteria 5 Clear leadership and staff structures this criteria involves full-time network coordinator, job descriptions for all network coordination team members, functioning network steering group, and members committed to action or working groups. The other criteria is benchmark criteria six, which is good governance and accountability. This includes child protection policy reviewed in the last three years, finance policy, Mango Health Check completed in the last five years, legal registration where possible, as well as governance policy. The other criteria involves strong membership, where database director of network members and database of network members attending events, training and participating in programs are involved. Benchmark criteria eight involves collective action where recorded value of gifts in kind for collective action programs are included. The last benchmark is that of action active fundraising, where funding from in-country greater than O equal to 10% total monetary income or over $25,000, as well as in kind income greater than monetary income or over $25,000, and fundraising strategy and fundraising year plan. Thank you.